Welcome back to you all. It's breakfast part two. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am about this because two of my favourite things in the whole world are in this list. However, one of those is not banana muffins. So let's get that out of the way. In 2001, there were more than 300 banana-related accidents in Britain, mostly involving people slipping on skins. The other 299 were people accidentally eating a banana muffin when they thought it was something nicer than that. Let's crack! Doosh. I'm getting good at this egg cracking thing now. Doosh. Yeah. Doosh. 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 Go me. Nothing on the floor. Result. Got a time bonus of seven on that one. Okay, now we've got to add the ingredients. Oh my god, there's so many ingredients in banana muffins. I don't even like them. Right. Why would banana muffins have salt in them? That's just... just... no, everything is wrong about these things. Everything. Especially the bananas. Right, which one of these is it? Is it that one? I think so. I don't really care. I don't want to have to make these. Could have chosen any kind of muffin and you went with banana. We could have had cinnamon, we could have apple and cinnamon, we could have had... I once went to America and had the most amazing pumpkin cream muffin, I think it was, from Perkins. And I had it for my breakfast on going to the Space Centre, going to Kennedy Space Centre. Oh, memories. Yeah, the first thing I did was, because my time zones were all out, so I woke up really, really early and it turned out that Perkins was open 24 hours a day and I went in at like six o'clock in the morning having waited two hours because I didn't think that they'd be open. And she said, oh yeah, we've been open all night. Oh, we could have done with you at four o'clock in the morning. We had nothing to do. And I bought breakfast and sat and had breakfast. And then I had this, this pumpkin cream muffin thing. And I took it with me on the coach to the space center and ate it while we were traveling across to Titus. Oh, ah, memories, memories of the muffins. They had pumpkin in them, not banana. I do not want to have to do this. Right, it's the mashing. The mashing of the banana. Look out for the shadows. The shadows threatening the banana. There. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I have to say, it's not that I don't like banana exactly. I, I do eat bananas. It's just banana flavoured things and banana in things just doesn't work for me when there are so much better options. I mean, I will eat them if I absolutely have to and there's nothing else, but it's, I'm just, just not a huge fan. It's like in the 80s, I think it was in the 80s, does everybody remember when banoffee pie was a thing in Britain? I think it's always been a thing in America, but it was a thing in Britain because we didn't have it here. And I was just never particularly thrilled with it. I was just, just, no. And then I had some banoffee flavored chocolate the other day and I thought, why would you do that? Anyway, let's stir. I can take out my anger at the general banana situation on this bowl. I mean, that's horrible, isn't it? It doesn't even look right. And this is hard work, and I don't like it. There we go. Are we done yet? No, not quite. And one last Backwards Z. There we go. Right, now I've got to pour the batter because we don't want like massive banana muffins, do we? That's one. No, Wait, is it not? Oh no, oh dear. I've over muffined it. We don't want to over muffin the banana muffins. Whoa! Nyung. Bit, bit, when you get that wrong, it's very, very difficult to get it back again. There we go. But I don't care, to be honest, because. We should be tipping this in the bin. Whoa. Terrible. Awful. Just like the muffins. He thinks he's great though. Right, here we go. God forbid that I should burn the blooming things. There. They were a banana muffins, despite the fact they look like dubious mushrooms again, but yeah, just, just no. Right, now we're going to move on to something that I would never eat because I don't eat chicken. Don't write in. Chicken fried steak. Actually, it's not chicken, is it? It's steak. I don't eat that either. So, 
yeah, this is like doubly things I won't eat, so I'll just make it for you. Did you know that in 1988, Oklahoma's state legislature made chicken fried steak part of their official state meal? Right, we've got to do eggs. I can do eggs. I can't do eggs. Did that end up not in the... In the sink? It's because I've been put off by the bananas. Oh no! It's egg catastrophe! How has that happened? Well, now I'm going to slip on the egg all over the floor. Why did that not go in? Ah, well, there we go. A bit further over, that's why. Right, I've got my technique back now, she says. Missing the bowl completely. There we oh, no! Ah. Well, the bananas have ruined everything. I've gone bananas. Right, got to grate the bread. Bread? Oh, are we making breadcrumbs? I don't actually know what chicken fried steak is. Can I admit that here? Is it a steak that you put inside a chicken? Is it like KFC? CFS. I don't think it would be CFS. I think that means something completely different. There we go. Okay. Right, got a double coat. Double coat. Dip the food in egg and then roll it around in the coating. This is a new one. Dip it in the egg. Ooh, stir. Put it over here. Do that with it. Do that with it. Do that with it. Take it out. Oh, hey. Okay. This is new and exciting. Do that with it. It's like folding the gyoza, that. Put it there. Put it in there. Floppy, floppy, floppy. On there. Stir it. Flop it. Place it. My tray isn't big enough. I would like to make a complaint. Floppy, floppy, floppy. Ding! That was a new one. Spread the butter. Right, I like spreading the butter because we can make silly faces out of it. <laughs> right, all the way round. My butter, butter spreading record there. You don't get very long to do it. Right, cook chicken fried steak. Follow the scrolling instructions. Here we go then. Medium heat. Press. 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 Okay. Add. You very nearly didn't give me the salt to add there, did you? Oh, got a flip. Flip. And press. Then we got to add the pepper. And then we've got to flip. At least I don't have to catch it again like I did with the pancakes. That didn't go very well. Then we've got to cover it. What, again? I was having to cover things that I'm not completely convinced need covering. It's almost like they're putting an extra step in. Because cooking chicken fried steak is too easy. There we go. Anyway, I did it. Right. I've got to cook gravy now. Do I get to make more biscuits? Oh! <gasps> So I'm just thinking it's chicken, gravy and biscuits, isn't it, normally? So, follow the scrolling instructions to make the gravy. And medium heat. And add the milk. And stir. And flour. And stir. salt and pepper and stir and then ladies and gentlemen no heat none at all that's gravy i think i just accidentally made buttercream anyway now you see the biscuits and the eggs have appeared out of nowhere and what was this what is that chicken fry steak gravy which is clearly not gravy. That looks more like ice cream melting all over it. Two fried eggs, a biscuit, and what is that? Is it an omelette? Is it... I'm just I'm thinking back to my America holiday again with the uh, Golden Corral buffet. I'm trying to think what was on the shelves, but there was so much of it, including a chocolate fountain. We won't talk about that. I don't know. I don't know what that is. If you are in America and you know what that is, do please write in. Right, moving on. 
It's time for more eggs. Amazingly, in spite of the fact that it's made with an English muffin, Canadian bacon and hollandaise sauce, Eggs Benedict is an all-American dish. I'm not going to make a political comment, but I'm thinking one. Right, let's do some more egg cracking. It's all about the cracking. It's cracking. Right, can I get this right? You've got to get your angle right. That's it. It's there. Oh no. There. There. Oh, I did it this time. See, I was put off by the bananas earlier. Excellent. Right, got to cook a poached egg. So if you want to do a poached egg, you've got to get that egg right up. Then, add your water, which mysteriously you've put in a bowl. Then your salt. Are we boiling? Are we boiling? Then reduce your heat. Ooh, we are boiling. Woohoo! Add your eggs. Waste your gas. Reduce your gas. Increase your gas, which you will do if you eat enough of these. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot of gas related things going on in this. There we go. Right, now we've got a slice. We haven't seen the knives yet. I do like a good knife. Slice. Is that all I've got to do? Split. Oh, I like that. I can just throw it off to one side of the screen. I'm really sorry if you're standing on the left side of the screen. You've probably got a knife in your bits by now. There we go. Right. Right, now we've got to bake. 400. Now. Perfect. Well, I'm English. Of course I've got English muffins magnificently. Of course I have. Right, now. I've got to separate some yolks. Dragging the two shell halves far enough apart. <laughs> this should be interesting. My god, what the hell? What? 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 Oh, what? I, right, okay, I sort of see. Oh no, I missed that one. Oh no, that's on the floor. Okay, I think we need to look at that again. Right, I kind of understand. So every time I do that, you want to get the yolk in there, but you want a bit of white to come out at the same time. I see. But I think. I don't think it's a case of the better you do this, the more yolk comes out. I think it's just a case of making sure that you do it at all. I oh, see, with that one, did you notice nothing came out? And with that one, well... When you get that wrong, you get it totally wrong. So, you've got to do that, but there has just got to be a little bit of the white comes out. I see. There's actual skill involved in this. There we go. Oh no! Oh, oh, I thought I'd missed that then. Phew! Okay. Right, now we've got to cook hollandaise! Follow the scrolling instructions to make hollandaise. Now, hollandaise does not involve as much gas. Ding! Right, I've got to add some limon. El limon. Then, go stir it up. Then we've got to add burr. I haven't learned Spanish for butter yet. Burr and stir. Right, then, intriguingly, we've got to get rid of the old heat. Is that so it sets or something? Do you set hollandaise sauce? Never made it. There we go. Oh. Well, of course. But the interesting thing is, I didn't have to do the bacon. Why did I not have to do the bacon? That's a little strange. Maybe you don't cook it. You just slap it on. Right, anyway, now we're to, down to the two most exciting things. So exciting, I hardly speak. First, we're going to do French toast. The secret to restaurant quality French toast, after frying in a pan, throw them in the oven to cook all the way through. Let's crack. If I mess this up, I'm going to be really annoyed with myself. Prepared to be annoyed on my behalf. I'm a bit slow here. I'm a bit slow. I'm just worried about getting the eggs on the floor because I've now got so many eggs on the floor. I'm not sure that it's even safe to work in this kitchen anymore. Okay, right, a bit of magnificent cracking. Now, ooh, it's like catchphrase. What is that? 
Is it that one? I think it's that one. And then that's... Oh, it isn't! It isn't! No, I didn't! No, no, no! I didn't! Oh, I didn't actually do that. Just because I dared to touch the wrong one. I sort of assumed it wouldn't give me an error unless I'd actually put it in the bowl. Sake. Now you're going to make me do this. That's right. So much stirring involved. It's rubbish. Especially the backwards, upwards Zs. We need a food processor. If I don't get a food processor for when we get onto dinner, I'm going to be really annoyed because I have a feeling that dinner is going to be way more complicated than this. There we go. Right. Gotta trace the lines to slice up the bread. Slice, 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 slice. Nice. Oh my god, there's so much bread. This is gonna be an absolutely vast basket of French toast. I am with this. Excellent. Right, now we've got a spread. I don't get very long to do this, so forgive me, there will be no making silly things out of the butter. You have to do it very, very quickly. There we go. Didn't even get a time bonus on that. I'm not quite sure how much quicker you can do that. Right, we've got to do some flipping. It's flipping awesome. Right. This is like with the pancakes, isn't it? Oh, God. Whew. Nobody really flips French toast. This is just to make you do more work. I mean, really, how many times do you have to flip this? How ridiculous. Flippy, flippy. You kind of have to pay attention during this. You'll have to forgive me. There we go. Then the plate comes in and you know you're okay. Mmm. There we go. Awesome. I don't think you really need to flip French toast. Not in real life. Right, now we've got to bake it because baking it is what's making it. we got to bake it to make it. There we go. This is the best French toast in the whole world. Oh, maybe it isn't. Okay. Is it because I had an egg-related accident? I can't remember now. But anyway, look, it's awesome. Didn't get to squirt the syrup on it, though. Anyway, none of that even matters because all we've been building up to for the last 20 minutes... Yes, that really is how much of your time you've spent watching me flip things and spill eggs on the floor. Is this. Hash browns. It is fascinating. Fascinating, 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 fascinating to think that the average American eats 134 pounds of potatoes a year or over 365 potatoes per person per year. That's an average of more than one potato a day. Except on a leap year, probably. But let's peel. Now, I hate peeling potatoes in real life. So, don't expect me to enjoy this. Feely, feely. Wow, I'm doing a really shocking job of that. I see. You can do it in one big... No, maybe you can't. Oi! Flipping hate peeling potatoes. This is why. At least my potato peeler detects that I am peeling potatoes, unlike this one. God, how many potatoes am I going to have to do? Is it squillions? It's not doing anything. Peel, peel! You're not appealing. Uh, 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 uh. Oh god, I think I've got to do two. See, sometimes it doesn't... It doesn't do it. What is this nonsense? Do you have to do it in a very particular order? Is that why? Because I can kind of fill in my gaps once I've done the whole... Th oh, man. That looks like an Easter egg. Actually, that does look like an Easter egg. And I failed. Oh well, somebody's hash browns are going to have a bit of peel in them. I'm sure it's fine. Right, now I've got to grate it. I'm grating an Easter egg. A glowing Easter egg. Are we sure that's not the egg out of under the dome? I'm grating up my own pleasure. Watching that at the moment. Watched the entire series of it and then got sick of it. Because it's gone weird. 
It was weird anyway, but now it's got really weird. Anyway. Oh, you're going to make me grate right down to my fingers here. There we go. great -o potato Excellent. Right. I got, I got absolutely done last time with this. Right. I think it's that one. That looks like the other one. Yeah, because it is. That's good. Onions. Onions, eh? Right, let's cook. <gasps> Medium heat. Press. You get one of those big flipper things, don't you? When you see them make it in places like IHOP. They've got a great big, like, um, what do you call it? Spatula thing. There we go. Add the pepper. Do the flipping. Oh my god, it looks amazing. <gasps> Add cheese! This is my new favourite hash brown. Now this one we cover to melt the cheese. But we only want to melt it, not fry it. So we do that with it. And then we go look at this magnificent piece of art. Oh. Is that what it was on the chicken fried steak? Is that why I didn't recognise it? Because it's got cheese on top. You see, I've never had a hash brown that had cheese on top like that. So that is a little odd. But in any event, it's a hash brown and it's got cheese on top. So what's the problem? The problem is it was only B+. But he is happy to award me the silver rolling pin. Well, look at you. Actually, he's like a tough guy, isn't it? Well, look at you. You've completed all your breakfast recipes. And we'll soon be moving on to lunch. Now he sounds like the mayor of Stardew Valley. You've got some real potential, Jenny. So, you have made it through the breakfast syllabus and think that you are ready to move on to lunch, do you? We shall see. If you think sure, I am going to be as lenient as your breakfast exams as I was for appetizers, you are quite mistaken. <gasps> Egg crack exam? Oh, God. How many eggs can I crack in a minute? Loads. I can crack loads. It's just they'll all end up on the floor. As I was saying... Please go in the bowl, please go in the bowl. Oh. Oh, right, now I've found my rhythm. Now we're going. This is excellent. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Did anybody pay any attention to how many I needed to get? Is my final exam at the end of this cleaning up? I'll tell you what, if this was cooked, served, delicious, it would be. I'd actually have to clean the egg off the floor, because that game is evil. Anyway, look at me go now. Uh, that is actually harder than it looks, you know. You think you've got it right and you haven't. Anyway, was that A? Was that A egg cracking? It was A plus egg cracking. Imagine what I could have done. Anyway, right. Cutting exam. Now, I understand this now because last time I made a bit of a mess of it. Oh no. Because the thing is, because you can't see how big that is. You don't quite know where to put it. Anyway, I've got an egg right, so it's fine. Right, pancakes. <gasps> Pancake flipping exam. Oh my god. I'm doomed. Flippity flip. Oh, with pancakes, you see, you only have to do it twice. Whereas with the uh, hash brown, no, French toast, you had to do it three times. It felt like it was never going to come down from the sky again. But there we go, with the pancakes, it's different. Okay, right, because pancakes don't take as long to cook. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay, this is really close. Up we go. What? Up we go. What? That's my new pancake language. What? Up we go. What? Up we go. What? Up we go. Right, can I do one more? What? Whoop, 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 whoop. I so can. <gasps> Six. That's got to be A+. plus. It's not physically possible to do it any better than that. And last but not least, 
quiche. Quiche? What? I'm sorry, what rubbish is this? Nobody has quiche for breakfast, not even me. Egg crack exam, cut dough exam, pancakes. Quiche? Quiche is a classic example of French cuisine that they do not have for breakfast. Traditionally, French quiche does not contain any cheese. Today, however, we will be making our quiche with spinach and cheese. I've never had quiche without cheese in it. This is lies. Anyway, what the hell is this rubbish? I don't understand. I think that's butter anyway. That's burr. That's agua. I know that in Spanish. That's uh, shortening. Don't know what that is. And sal. There we go. Okay, this is deeply weird now. I don't understand. I think I'm just making his lunch. This is nothing to do with exams, is it, Mr. Chef? There we go, a bit of backwards kneading there. Now I've got to roll it. Roll it with my new silver rolling pin. Yeah, is that enough? Probably. It's quite difficult to tell. Yeah, no, not enough. Not, yeah, okay, now it's enough, okay. I like the way that I rolled that out to be round then. That was incredibly clever. Oh no, not this again. I've already passed my egg cracking exams, mate. Please go with the bowl. Thank you. There we go. Phew. Time bonus of eight. I think that's the best I've ever managed. You're just making me work now, aren't you? This has got nothing to do with exams or breakfasts or anything. I don't like you. You're making me do some extra work that I don't actually need to do. Oh, which I can't do. I made a right mess of that. Anyway. There's something about that Z shape which is incredibly difficult to do with a mouse. Why? It's not incredibly difficult to do, I'm just whinging. Eh, there we go, right. Ding! Did wonder whether there'd be a bit of slicing of the tomatoes in this. Fwah, fwah. See me slashing my knife around? Yeah! Ding! Right, got onions as well. Fwah, 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 fwah. Yeah! That way, that way, that way, that way. Oh, did you notice my knife went wrong there? It is possible. I don't think you can cut yourself. That would be highly entertaining if you could. Is there a Gordon Ramsay game in which you can cut yourself? Right, anyway, I've got to saute, apparently. I've got to saute, I have no idea. Oh no! Oh no! I've burnt me something. Pitiful! I'm not even sure I should be doing this. And I'd like to point out that quiche definitely does not have Colby Jack in it. Definitely not. No self-respecting French bod is going to put Colby Jack in a quiche. Anyway, it's already got pitiful onions or something in it, so it doesn't matter. How was I supposed to tell whether it was done or not? I'm calling shenanigans on this. He's trying to make me fail. I'm not going to fail, sir. Your quiche has got burnt bits in it, but I'm not going to fail. Right, uh oh. Right, what we got here? It's a white thing. Is it that white thing or is it the other white thing? It's that white thing, I think. Yeah. Leche. Spinach. Is it this one next? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I think it is. Feta? Feta? In a quiche? I'm sorry, what planet are we on now? I don't even want to be associated with this quiche because it's weird. Oh. oh, that's right. You're going to make me do more stirring now. This is a pitiful quiche anyway now, mate. If I fail because of this quiche, I'm going to be really annoyed. I just want you to let you know that because I don't think I'm being paid for this work and I think I'm going to report you. Right, that better be the final stirring. The final stirring, or I'll get mad. I'll get really mad if you make me, if you make me stir the stuff. Da -da -da. There we go. Oh, that was quite good. Oh no, I've over quiched it. You see, the luck. 
Oh, no. oh, if you don't get it right first time, you're done, aren't you? Blimey. The line, you see, is... Ooh. Ooh, dear. Is he going to make me pour all these again? I think he probably is. Ooh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, he's not going to make me re-pour, presumably because it's an exam. So I have failed, I reckon. I don't know who put the tomatoes on there. It wasn't me. Oh, man. <gasps> no, they would never serve it in France because you decided to put flipping feta in it. I decided to put flipping burnt bits in it. Anyway, I have completed all of the breakfast exams. Oh, boy. Who is this? I am Graf Svensson, and I have the dubious honour of being your instructor for the lunch portion this semester. I can't do a Swedish accent. If you're ever late, or missing assignments, or don't have the recipes done on time, don't come to me with your excuses, because I've heard them all before. Just sit yourselves down and get to work. Sit? I don't sit and cook. Throw myself around and cook. All you need to know about my culinary credentials is that I was there... Oh, is that... Before there was democracy, I was cooking for kings... What the... For reasons that completely elude me, an alarm clock has just gone off. Sorry about that, I'm not quite sure why. I think it probably means that my time's up. And it is, indeed, because we have moved on to lunch. And lunch is looking good. Oh my word, pizza, burritos, grilled cheese. Well, I'm very happy. I hope that you will join me for lunch in the next episode when we will be making corn chowder, pizza and Goujons! Gameplay Jenny